Mid Journey version 7 is here, and it's a little bit different than version 6. Let's get into it. So a couple of days ago, Mid Journey version 7 Alpha came out. I've been having a play around with it, and I'm really impressed so far with the additions that it's made. Now to begin with, you might not notice that much of a difference, but you have to do a few things to get going with the version 7 model. And those things that you have to do, I think are the right steps within AI. And that's because version 7 focuses massively on personalization. I absolutely love this because it means that you're basically training the AI model to do what you want it to do. So not only is that gonna help you get better outputs with your prompts, hopefully it also means there's gonna be less generic AI results out there. And then your prompts, my prompts, the output's gonna look a little bit different because of the personalization choices. So if you come on over to Mid Journey, if you've used the software before, you know it looks like this. And we go into the settings bar, you can see at the bottom here, it's got the version option. So version 6.1 is the default at the moment, but you can select version seven. However, if you try and enter a prompt here, you won't be able to use version seven yet. And that's because you need to train it to begin with. As mentioned, version seven relies heavily on personalization. And so you have to do a certain amount of images to get going. So quickly, just before we get going, we're gonna have a look at what the benefits to version seven are. And it says here that the image quality is noticeably higher with beautiful textures, bodies, hands, and objects of all kinds having significantly better coherence on all details. So hopefully that's gonna stop things like six fingers happening, maybe some improved textures as well. And as I mentioned, it says here that version seven is the first model to have personalization turned on by default. And you have to unlock personalization to use the version seven model. And so if we click on personalization here, you can see that if I click this unlock personalization button, we can start ranking some images. So we need to go through here and rank 200 images to unlock personalization. So all you need to do is click through. It's choosing between the left and the right option, and you can choose based on whatever you want. But the idea is the image that you think is a higher quality, you rank that as your preferred option, because that's gonna help Mid Journey to deliver results catered a bit more to you. And to do it really quickly, you can just use one and two on your number keypad for left and right. So I'm gonna speed through this now and let you know how long it took me to rank all of these images. Okay, I've just finished and that took me about four minutes in total. So it doesn't take that long. You might wanna spend a little bit longer. You might wanna do more personalizations to cater Mid Journey version seven even more to your needs. But now we've unlocked it, I wanna give it a try. So the first thing I'm gonna do is see if there's any difference with coloring pages on version seven. So I've put a prompt in here looking to try and find an epic dragon flying through the sky. So like normal, it generates four image options. And this one here is really beautiful. What I can notice straight away is it feels a bit more sketchy, a bit more grayscale than the version 6.1 images. And that might be the improvement to things like textures. So this isn't absolutely perfect for a coloring page, but in terms of a sketch, it's absolutely beautiful. Let's try something else now. So I'm gonna try and render a lion wearing sunglasses in a dark and moody studio setting. So I've used a 4K ultra realistic photo prompt here. And these are four of the results. So all of them look really high quality. This one especially, I really, really like. But the textures on the fur are really beautiful. The sunglasses feel premium and they feel like they fit in really well with the image as well, which is really important. And what's cool is you can create different personalization profiles as well. So let's say you want a profile that focuses on hyperrealism you could go through and you could set a profile where you favor everything that's really realistic. And then another personalization profile could be focused on artistic drawings and different types of lines. So I think that's a really cool thing in version seven. And that's probably where Mid Journey is gonna head in the future as well. So yeah, if you've not tried Mid Journey version seven yet, this is how to unlock it. You just need to go over to Mid Journey, do your personalization votings, and then you can try out version seven for yourself. Have you noticed any cool new things, any differences in qualities yet with version seven? Drop a comment down below and let us all know. All right, that's it for this video. 
Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.